Good morning, everyone, and welcome. Before we start, we have a disclosure. Please be aware of risk in the future trading. We strongly advise you to stay on a sim as long as needed before you go live and use a real money. Uh, today, it is very interesting. 4th of November is 10.30 with just one hour uh, from uh, the opening. Uh, and um, uh, the market is uh, doing extremely well. Let me show you on the automated signal first, and then we go on the other auto trade. The ES, we have a buy entry at 34.24.75. 34.69 was the target based on one contract. Uh, we nailed 100 tick on the last entry signal. It's not the whole day, it's the last entry signal, which is 1300. And now you can see we have two contracts on the auto trade, and it is 26.50. On the NASDAQ, uh, we had a buy entry at 689.50, target uh, 825.50, based on one contract, 253 uh, ticks into the profit. And on the blue chart, you can see we are using uh, two contract, and it is 2500. Uh, on the YM, we had an entry at 717, target 058. Based on one our contract, the market analyzer is based on one contract, is 178 ticks, 180 ticks into the profit, almost $945. So you don't need to trade all of it. Let's say if you are trading just ES NASDAQ down zones, uh, you have a very good size uh, of ticks profit here. On the total here, uh, we had earlier, like uh, 20 minutes ago, we had over 1,400 uh, ticks into the profit. Uh, right now we have uh, a thousand ticks into the profit, which the total amount is right next to it. So this is uh, for the uh, the blue charts are connected to the left upper corner, the market analyzer, and that one here, it is for swing trading, and then we have the scalping. The scalping. Uh, it just nailed 6,000 on the NASDAQ, and now we got a new signal on the NASDAQ. Uh, this is the scalping. On the scalping, we are using, for the entry signal, uh, we are using 15 seconds. It's more than enough. And uh, we have the YM as well. Now it's short on the scalper. And, uh, and then on and on and on on those uh, scalpers. They are extremely powerful, especially you can use the scalper. Uh, when uh, the market is uh, not moving a bit slow, you can always, if you are trained enough, uh, you can always try to catch a signal and uh, use the uh, the scalper. Even on a slow day, if you start around 9, 9.30, you should be uh, able to catch a few signal here and there. Uh, let's go to total different automated trade. Has nothing to do with the signal. Uh, those are the videos the same, uh, the charts are the same as from yesterday video, the same template. If you go back to yesterday video, it was the same template, the same chart, we only use in minutes. We are using, if, if you want to, you can use one minute, two minutes, being aggressive, medium, somewhere around between two, three minutes, or three, four minutes. Conservative is five minutes. It's very simple to approach. Then you have an option to scalp or swing trading. So I don't want to go through all of it. I can go to some of it. And uh, those are the same template as yesterday video. Uh, the DAX, uh, we have the three minutes nailed 4,000. Uh, the, the two minutes 2,000. This one here is the one minute one one five. Uh, the five minutes one two three one, and um, uh, the Nasdaq today it is an amazing Nasdaq uh, trend today. Uh, on the one minute, and this is a statement when we are using a minute. Uh, this is a brin when you are using a chart, using a minute, one minute, that to bring accuracy. How accurate the auto trade is, not the Renko, not the line break, not the tick chart, not the range chart. Especially the Ranker bar. No, no, no. The one minute can bring 
the consistency in the market, this consistency in the auto trade. And um, the Nasdaq, it is a little over five. And then you have 1800, 3600, uh, 2300, 14, 20. It's the same auto trade, it's a different color background for me to identify uh, the uh, what account I'm using on those. But uh, you can use a different color in the background if you have more than one account. So you can identify which account to belong to what. So those are the same uh, as yesterday. And right now we are only uh, 10.48 and we are done for today. We're going to bring some uh, uh, other charts like yesterday. Uh, I'd like to show some. Uh, also the same auto trade, the TI7, and I, I would like to show also some different variety of template. Those are the same template, and now we're going to show different variety of templates, but it's the same auto trade. Uh, this is uh, the same uh, TI7. The TI7 has nothing to do with the automated signal. In your package, there is around eight, nine auto trades from reversal auto trade to institutional auto trade to... Uh, there is much more advanced automated trades and there is a simple automated trade so it's not just the signal automated trade we offer here this one here is the same ti7 but uh, with a different a variety of template uh, those the one are in white and uh, you can use them on gold there is some of them are on gold some of them es four minutes uh, 2400 uh, some of them based on one contract, like this one here. You can uh, have one contract, two contract, three, four. Uh, you can have uh, the gold, the YM. This is an example on the YM one minute. Beautiful how the YM took the trades today. Uh, Russell, if you want to, you can use it. And if you want to use it for gold, you can do that. This is a gold chart here on the right upper corner. And uh, the gold has been amazing movement. And uh, one thing is they all have in common, they are on the two minute, uh, on the minutes. They are not hiding behind fake wrinkle, fake uh, results, uh, and a fake uh, uh, time frame uh, that it does not really exist in the real trading. Because the Ninja Trader is based on the minutes. Ninja, Ninja Trader charts is based on minutes. It's not based on anything else. So in, in order for you, doesn't matter if today uh, the DAX made $100 or $200 or lost money. The most important is the consistency. And when you try to have a, a stable auto trade, the only time you're going to get stability and consistency in any type of a trading is when you are switching to the minutes. Because if I want to switch those to the Renko bar, I can provide a profit factor uh, above 10. But this is not real on the Renko bar. So on the minutes, no matter what you do to the chart, you can right uh, click the chart, reload the chart, will still have the same trade where they were taken and they were exit. So no matter how you you want to reload the charts is always giving you what happened in the past exactly uh, uh, the chart uh, where those trades are taken and this way you can understand this this trade here because the auto trade stopped uh, before that so this one here is a new trade but no matter what you do you're always, we stopped right here at this area here on the auto trade. And no matter what we do, you always get precisely what has happened in the past because minutes are reliable. So right now, just wanted to uh, show you uh, what happening in the market at the moment. So this is uh, uh, the automated signal trading. It's totally different as uh, the TI7. As we said, the TI7 is uh, for... Uh, different strategy, different algorithm. Uh, right now, as we see on the swing trading, we're still around a thousand around that area. But what it picked up after this drop down on the ES and NASDAQ, 
And now the scalper uh, took a new signal and now uh, this is the scalper a new signal uh, when it took the trade and as we see right now uh, the scalpers this is an automated trade the system this is a very advanced system uh, the system not just using as a scalper when the market is trending that auto trade switch from scalping to swing trading automatically nobody has been able to do that except us so for the guy is between scalping or swing trading you can scalp the market and the same time if this market is running the system automatically start extending the target depends on the market movement so this is a really and the trailing stops are based on a support resistant fib line and it does not take that much it takes to catch one trend a day for one instrument to be a happy camper uh, there is a lot of consistency if we look i want to show this when the market dropped on the es most of you trade the es the trailing stops are based on a fib, flooring fibs. It's not the dummy trailing stop, it's the worst enemy for a trader using a dummy trailing stop. If we look at this area here, when the market pulled back, just took one trade out, closing the profit on one trade, and this is the support area exactly where is the trailing stop. This is not an accident. If we look at the YM, it's the same story. If you go back a few seconds back on this video, you will see what I'm talking about. When the market got back, took one trade out, and this is the support area. So it's not the benefits, is they are on a separate level, like what we see here on the CL. The benefits here is you don't need to spend the weekends optimizing and 99% when you optimize on any platform, the reality is different than when you are trading live. And most of the time, which 99% when traders spend the whole weekend optimizing, back testing, forward testing, when they put it to work, they will never see those numbers they spend the whole weekend trying to do. On that kind of auto trade, even on the scalper 15 second, the accuracy is overwhelming, is based on FIBS, support area, resistant area, and the trailing stops and the targets, they all work in conjunction with each other, depends on the market movement. The target is not a just a normal target like this kind of auto trade. On that kind of auto trade, let's try to show you a chart we have not shown you. This is the Russell. I did not show you the Russell, but this is the Russell. On this kind of auto trade, it is you set the daily target or you set uh, the first uh, target, 20 takes, the third target, uh, 40 takes, whatever. On this one here, on every trade, the system calculate where is the probability you need to exit from. And if we look at the CL, came in exactly where the system exited. Now, this is the difference between a guy. There is two options for auto trade and gentlemen. There is no three option here. First, before you do anything, you have to understand the market before you do anything. Do not go live if you don't understand the market. At the end, it is a mechanical trading. On this kind of auto trade, you are at the mercy of the market trending. If the market trending, you're going to really enjoy your day. If the market not trending, you can lose all your money in your account whether it's 5,000 or 10,000, if you don't know what you're doing. 
and the same thing on this auto trade we do you can direct the auto trade short only long only if you want to interfere with it or a close position if you want to maximize your profit nevertheless you cannot leave the auto trade turn on the auto trade blindly and not looking at the market the difference between that kind of auto trade gentlemen and that auto trade this is for a serious traders they need to learn how to approach the fibs they need to understand the market movement they need to understand how to leave the market without interfering with it like if this one here the auto trade said we are estimating three four six four to exit if i see the market trending maybe i want to extend it or if i want to if i i see the the market is in trouble maybe i want to go ahead and cover plus couple ticks so what we are expecting from that trader not much you can you can have the auto trade take in the trade set up your trail and stop setting up your target is all math about high time frames fibs is all there and and you can learn uh, from the auto trade how you can manage the auto trade really that's what i'm trying to get you is you need to learn as an example on this one here we hit the target we made money on the way up and now it's going here so maybe i want to push my luck to the double support area and the same time what i want to do i want to say break even a plus two ticks in this way now i am on a free ride on that trade i don't want to close this is my style you, you probably have a different style i will not close a trade on 200 dollars profit uh you know i better stay in my bed if i need to get up to just get 200 dollars profit uh, the system, as you see, is estimated to exit the target at 38.52. Fair enough. But if this market trend in uh, uh, and I interfered with the auto trade, I'm going to go ahead and widen the, 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 the target. At the same time, I'm on a free ride. That trade is not costing me any money anymore. I cover the plus one or two ticks so I'm gonna stay a little bit I don't like long videos but I'm gonna stay a few seconds here to uh, show you how important is uh, understand how we can be a little bit more patient and if there is the market trending we can turn around that trade and it will be the only trade for today on the CL if we can catch a trend close it in here and you can see then you don't need to go back and expose your uh, uh, your uh, account to the market uh, at the bottom of that uh, video you will find uh, a link uh, on our uh, training live on a YouTube uh, practically every day and you are very welcome uh, to follow us over there and this is exactly what I'm talking about the auto trade has delivered the estimation where the probability of this market gonna go out fine so the auto trade deliver what he we want to is right here right now right now here on the Nasdaq we have a six hundred dollars on the new contract here and now there is a new signal came in on the ES and it is a short signal and there we go now we are look at this accuracy and this is up to you if you want to exit it or not or if you want to um, stay longer and try to get it now this on this a new signal on the nasdaq immediately we are on a 700 dollars profit and the beauty what we have done about it you can go ahead and say because the market is fast today a break even couple takes if this market now it does not cost us any money if this market going farther down and when those fibs come in where you put your trailing stop your fibs lift whatever you put your trailing stop and move them for you you don't have to do anything 
this is a mix between let the auto trade calculate your entry, your exit, and you are the pilot here. You are the ones is trying to manage uh, that trade. And look at this one here right now. So it does not take that much. It takes a couple of charts a day catching a trend in order for you to, to, to start getting somewhere in this market. And as we know, we are working here on a base fib. If we look at the CL is 38.41, this is the fib line, and I'm gonna maximize my profit to the 38 because look at this heavy support area here. So this is a really, the difference between, uh, some people say do auto trade work or uh, auto trade do not work. If an, a trader turn on an auto trade and is going to turn a blind eye on the market, that will not work for him. No matter what he buys. Five minutes before you start uh, auto trading, when you start opening your Ninja Trader, I strongly advise you to just look at the market in general to see what's going on today before you turn on your auto trade or decide. Uh, uh, you want to auto trade or you want to wait five, 10 minutes and then turn on your auto trade. This is a very important uh, to do. Look at the chart for five minutes. Even if you don't know what you're looking at, look at the charts for five minutes every day. And that can uh, save you a lot of uh, bad starts in the morning. Uh, I don't want to make uh, that video long, but uh, I want to show you when we just... A few minutes ago, I told you there is a new signal on the ES, and this is the new signal on the ES. Uh, if you don't feel like when to mess with the uh, market, you don't want to look at the market, you just broke even, and as it came into the support line, you just break even on this and let it be. If it's going to make it, make it. If it's not, it's not. So this is all what we have for you today, guys. Please be safe. God bless you all. And I will see you another day. We will see you tomorrow on the other channel live. Uh, you will find the link at the bottom. Uh, let me show you. I'm going to stay on that trade for a, for a minute. And uh, the system uh, estimated you need to exit at uh, 117.15. I'm not going to mess with it because right below that there is a support area. I will take the $1,000 trade. And then when you combine the NASDAQ and the ES together, if we put them together like this, and uh, as we know, the, the ES give the oxygen for the YM and NASDAQ. And as we see here, if this ES break this area here, the 46th level, that's mean we're not going to come to the 42 here. We are coming to the double support area at 34.39.75. So it's all waiting to see, look at this, how they work together. And if we are breaking the 46th level, that's me. We are hitting $1,000 on this last entry signal. Folks, that's all what we have. God bless you all. And I'll see you tomorrow on the other channel live. Bye for now.